It's a great teaching environment. It's a, it's a great camaraderie environment. It, it's something that I just really believe in. And I think all of our coaches do. Rico, uh, we, we all believe in getting guys in the gym and, and working. You gotta always go to option shooting. You feel me? As a shooter and as a scorer, I always gotta stay on top of my stuff because that's literally how I survive. Then your, your first year, when they say optional, it's mandatory for you most of the time. To be able to come in and bang and bump a little bit, get a chance to get that competitive nature and the competitive juices going, get after each other, and you know just make sure that you know we're staying in sync with what, what the game brings to us. I practice like today, I love it, you know, you know, guys are just, you know, competing, you know, talking smack to each other. We're just having fun. We just love to, you know, play basketball. So anytime, you know, the coaches are just roll the ball out, you know, we pick teams and we just go and just hoop. On the off days in between games, sometimes we have practice, the whole team's in, we'll watch film, we'll, we'll, we'll walk through stuff, we'll go over some defensive drills. And then there's some days where it's an off day with optional shooting, meaning it's really up to the players to come in. We have a, a group of very motivated, driven players that all come in on the off days to go to optional shooting. So we give them a shooting time, shooting slot, we go a certain time during the day. They come in and there's there's different objectives to it. For some guys that are developing shooters, it's high rep. For some of the guys that are playing more, it's more game shots, game speed, game, you know, game situations. But shooting is obviously one of the most important aspects of, of developing players. So we try to spend as much time as we can on it. It's important that as coaches, we create the environment for them to continue to work on their craft. Coach Stan leads it. We all kind of just follow. We have a plan of what we're trying to do and, and as a coaching staff, and we just try to help each other out and get the guys motivated and keep them going. And, and we have a specific game plan that we're trying to accomplish every day. You know, we have optional shooting, and Coach Stan runs it all, and he does an amazing job of doing it. Go, 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 go. You gotta always go to optional shooting. You feel me? As a shooter and as a scorer, I always gotta stay on top of my stuff because that's literally how I survive. I've jump shot, so you know I'm not less like Siakam. I can just run in the hole, spin, hit a dip, lay over top of people, or you know that type of stuff. So I gotta work on a lot of stuff. So it was good to come in here with Precious and Coloco yesterday, and it was cool. When you know, your first year, when they say optional, it's mandatory for you most of the times. All the coaches here, they are, they're always here. Their, their willingness to make us better is really, is really a big thing for this team. I think teams used to practice more with the schedule as it is and the travel schedule as it is. There are more optional days than there's been in the past, but it's always been something that for the younger players, there's really no days off. Every day is a work day. It's been around, but I think today's NBA, there's, there's a lot more optional shooting. Coaches also like to compete too. The coaches would talk trash here and there and they would really, you know, press up, guard each other. And um, it's just a joy to see them actually, you know, being competitive along with us. So, you know, maybe we might have just three guys working out. Coaches would jump in, we might play two on two or three on three. And um, they just help us out a lot too because it's no, uh, no down, fall, no step back when they get on the court. We're always competing. So it's, it's a joy to have coaches like that. They can come and step in and um, still bring the same enthusiasm and intensity as, uh, as the players do. <laughs> I've been Jordan before. I've been a younger coach like that, having to you know get thrown in the fire and stuff like that. So it's great, man. Sometimes players play harder against us than they do against the, the, the other team, but uh, it's all in good fun, man. We want to. That's what we do as as coaches is try to get those guys fired up and get them motivated, and at the same time be able to teach them during that moment of competitiveness. Geez, he's always talking. He's always talking. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. All right. <laughs> I'll do the interview.
Yeah. Yesterday on two on two, how do you feel <laughs> your game was? How do you feel from when you first got here? You've grown on the court during the live <laughs> sessions. My game good. What you mean? <laughs> Nobody said it was bad. I'm just asking <laughs> your opinion. I didn't ask mine. My game has grown guarding you every day. Okay. Okay. As, as you can see, I got some stops. 100. percent you just don't be guarding me every day too, so you getting a little versatility in your defense. That's you gotta guard some true. six nine guys. That's you gotta true. guard some point guards. Right so, about that. like you said, it's building slowly it's building, but surely. Slowly. But we getting there. <laughs> when we're playing at the end, whoever makes the game winning shot has to go make a free throw, validate it. If not, you miss it, then it's the score back to being what it was. You have a lot of pressure free throws throughout the season. It's good to keep practicing it. Everybody could rise to the occasion when there's 20,000 people in the arena, but how are you when there's nobody looking? I mean, even though the coaches are there, there's really nobody besides us. And it shows them that this job is a seven day, 24 hour gig. You have to be committed if you want to be great. The work that you put into this game is what you're going to get out. So the days when there's nobody looking, when there's no fans in the stands, I feel like that's the days that we get our most gains and our improvement. And for those guys, the ones that do come uh, relatively don't play as much. They do play in the game, some of them, and some of them don't get to play in the game at all. So it's a good way to keep their timing, their conditioning, and keep their confidence going. So when we do call on them, uh, they're ready to go. Okay, and then they're all going to play? That's great, man. Yeah. We got an even number, guys? Okay, cool. Great. Keep it up. All of these are and ones. Keep it up, son. Yes. And one. And one. That's my boy. Way to be a pro. Way to be a pro. Way to go, Dad. Yes. Em embrace contact. Yes, embrace it. Embrace it. Yes. Finish him off, King. That's my boy. Five in a row. Five in a row, Christian. Five in a row. Time to get better, brother. You, you got your teams? Automatics. We should get them playing, coach. We should get them playing. When you are able to get eight NBA players that want to play and want to keep their skills sharp and you put them on, a f on the floor together and you make the teams, they're going to compete. And they did. They, they really competed. There were some guys that were in the rotation that wanted to get some game reps up. You know, there are other guys that are outside the rotation that want to get themselves ready to play, you know, when their number is called. So there was a, there was a different group. But the one thing that they all did was they competed extremely hard. Dad is killing today, guys. Dad is killing. To be able to come in and bang and bump a little bit, you know, on, on the court, but also get a chance to, you know, uh, pick each other's brain, get a chance to go over some defensive stuff, get a chance to get that competitive nature and the competitive juices going. It was really good yesterday because we, you know, we were able to, to play a seven game series and get after each other and, you know, just make sure that, you know, we're staying in sync with what with the game brings us. Anytime you, you have a chance to have a, a good practice like that with the, the guys who, who aren't playing, gives us the opportunity to, to get better as a unit because that second unit is sometimes vital to the team. Obviously, the starters are going to do what they do, but we're heavily uh, relied upon in order to come in and make sure that the guys are getting appropriate breaks and appropriate time to, to rest and get back in and take us home you know, for the end of the games. Throughout the course of games, we have to be ready at all costs. You know, I told the guys, we have a, a first class seat to what not to do on the court because we get so much time to watch. Don't get caught flat footed. 
you on the balls of your feet, be ready to guard a person. Take it personal, not, not let nobody just bust your ass. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, man. Take it personal. Hey, one thing about this shit, man, as us being the guys that's on the bench, we got the best view of what not the is at. You know what I'm saying? We got the best view of what not the do, especially on the defensive side of the basketball. We just watched Milwaukee tee up 40 threes off catch and shoot and jabs. You see what I'm saying? Coming down and transition. Like, we should know what not to do because we know this game right now is all about that can shoot threes. So why not make them play in the yard? Long contested twos don't beat us. Threes and layups beats us. Offensive rebounds beats us. Second chance opportunities beats us. But when we in the yard, outside that paint, slightly inside the three-point line, them shots are a little bit harder than you think. Percentages go down. So we got to take advantage of that shit. Get them off the three-point line, make them take long contested twos. We'll live with that shit all day. Good job, guys. Come on, let's work on it, everybody. All of us. Go, we work on it together, baby. Come on. Let's work on it together. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, when you got a good group like we have, man, all of our guys are hard workers, so it doesn't take too much to get them going and get them working hard. They got a little bit chippy today, but uh, it's all in, in, in good fun, and I think guys got a little bit better today. Really played a back to back at all, so I knew the coach was going to make us play. But I, don't know, I didn't know it was going to be that intense. He get us better, you know, he make us work on our stamina, you know, and game situation, so it was really good. I practice like today, I love it, you know, you know, guys are just, you know, competing, you know, talking smack to each other. We're just having fun. We just love to, you know, play basketball. So anytime the coaches just roll the ball out, you know, we pick teams and we just go and just hoop. Um, you know, you kind of love that opportunity. Hey! You can kind of see it on our faces as, you know, we always play rest of seven series. The series might be two to one or three to one. And, you know, guys are just no matter what still competing because you don't want to lose no matter what. It's a joy just to be around these type of guys that love to compete and um, just love to play and just never want to lose. So it's always going to be a battle every game we play. So um, you know, it's just it's happy to be there, it's happy to play, happy to compete. No! 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 He's out, he's out. He's out. He's out. Thank you! The last game was 3-3 series, so next, who wins this game wins this series. The score was tied 6-6 for about 10 different possessions. Everybody's calling fouls, everybody's calling trial, because we're arguing. Oh. Hey, no way! What? I'm not. No, 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 it just goes to show you know we just love to win and uh, you're going to do whatever you have to do to win that that last game you know you never want to end the day uh you know losing so you're going to hear that from a lot of the guys. So you just kind of want to win the day, win that. And uh, you know, my team, we was happy to win today. So I'm just throw that out there. And that was a situation in, on that day in particular where we could work on defensive situations, on our switching, on, our, on whatever we were in defensively. We were able to get some really live game reps doing those.
There's always scuttlebutt that comes out of those. Coaches talk to each other. It kind of trickles its way around the, the organization. And, you know, so it's, it's, it's very much a positive when they perform well in those, in those situations. And it's, you know, for us, for coaches, it's an opportunity to teach sort of a slower, more, you know, methodical pace than a real practice would be. You can really break things down. You can set up, you know, what you're trying to get accomplished. Precious. He's locked in, and the bank shot is good. To me, it's all about who, who are your gym rats? Who are the guys that are hungry to succeed? Who are the guys that want to get better? Who are the guys that are going to pay the price, the sweat equity? Great thing about this sport is it exposes you, and you find out a lot of times what not only you know what you can do, but more importantly what you can't do, and how can you improve that? And also, how can you hone and, and, and even get a little better at the things you are very good at? Please Camp knocks down his second three. The best way to gain relationships and understand how guys play is just to play with them. How I can read off of their drives and space the floor. Those optional practices are critical for me. Just try to bring energy, play hard, um, and show what I can do. I think those opportunities to be in the gym, one-on-one, -on -one, a small group with coaches that, as we know here, that are great teachers. Uh, to have that opportunity to be around those people, that's special because you just never know when it clicks. You never know when there's that breakthrough. Here's a corner three, how about Precious? It's a great teaching environment. It's a, it's a great camaraderie environment. It's something that I just really believe in. And I think all of our coaches do. Rico, uh, we, we all believe in getting guys in the gym and, and working. I believe that for all these guys that are in there working on these off days, it's gonna pay off down the road. You know, I don't know exactly when or where, but your ability to stay ready, to you know keep yourself ready to play, it's an NBA skill. It's not easy. It's not easy to come into a game when you haven't played necessarily. And, you know, the ball's gonna hit your hands and, you know, you, 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 have to, you have to do something with it. Kendra, you show me what's good. No one has passion like you. And you know that's worth capturing, right? This isn't just another city. This is my home. Google Pixel 7, even better with Bell.